Welcome friends! A lot of people have been asking me how do you set up a dedicated server that is modded and not vanilla and I thought actually it's really simple and I'm going to show you how it's done. Now there are two prerequisites here. One, you need to know how to install a modded version of seven days to die such as through using mod launcher if you don't well i will be linking a couple of videos of how to set up say darkness falls and undead legacy just to give you the information of how to set that up but if you already know that you can skip that part the second is that you need to know how to actually work with a dedicated server normally that means that you need to know how to configure the server config file and you need to know how to do port forwarding because that's the problem that normally people have they get the server up they can connect locally but then they can't get friends to connect in because their ports are not open so i'm assuming that you know how to do that if you don't i will also link a video of how to set up a dedicated server including some tips on troubleshooting and port forwarding but assuming you have these two prerequisites already figured out it's going to be really simple in this case, I will be working off where is UK, where is UK, whatever you pronounce it as. So I have installed it through the mod launcher and you navigate to where you have the install directory. See if I go down here, you'll see this is the general game directory that you have with all the things that is needed to run the client. This is for the client and basically do a control C, control V and give yourself a copy of it because what a lot of people don't necessarily realize is that the client that you install actually has everything to also run as a server. So just make a copy of it and rename it as, you know, server or something. So we now have a copy. I'm going to name it server and I'm going to navigate into it. You'll see it's got all the stuff that you want to have in here. And the important thing is serverconfig.xml. So I'm going to right click on it and open up. I suggest using notepad++, but just notepad would work. And this is where you configure everything. Again, if you don't know how to set up a dedicated server, I will link a video in the description that covers a bunch of this. It's basically setting up just like you do any other server as well. Only thing I'm going to change, I'm going to change the server password to one so people don't actually log into it. And maybe a server visibility. Well, let's bring it to zero so people don't see it because it's just a test server. And uh, I believe that's about it. You can, of course, change, you know, whether it's a random world. I'm just going to use Navascape because it's easier to load in and uh, save it and exit it. With that done, I am exiting out of the game that I was running here on the client because otherwise it will conflict with the ports that are needed. I'm going to double click the start dedicated on bat file and it should be loading in the server as any dedicated server, which and take a little bit of time, especially for modded servers, because there's so many assets that have to be loaded in. So just give it a while. If these windows close and it's not starting up, then you should go to seven days to die data and check out the log files that can give you a hint of what actually went wrong. But I'm just gonna let it run. Eventually you should see something like this where it says start game is done and there's gonna be some other in it successful, etc. And that generally means that the server is running fine. We're going to go and try to connect to it. So in your client, you go to join a game and you hit connect to IP. You type in your local IP. And if you don't know what your local IP is, you could open a command prompt and do IP config, which should tell you what your IPv4 address is, which is in this case is 192.168.1.104 and the standard port 26900 and connect. And a valid password because we put in one team authenticated ah and then it doesn't work because ESC is not able to verify oh no so what we're going to do we're going to do a shutdown because we need to shut down the server and we need to go back to the server config.xml because there is one setting in here and let's do the here you see ESC enable a lot of the overhaul mods uh, does not allow you to use ESC because obviously you've been changing so much in the game. So we're going to change this to false and save it. And then we're going to restart the server. What a pain, but that's how the defaults work. All right, this time start game is done. Do the same thing. Join the game, start chance, search, uh, connect to IP and connect. And now it should work because there's no longer ESC, which is easy and to cheat. There's no such check. So load in. Keep in mind that starting up a modded server is going to take longer than starting up a vanilla server. And 
In my case, it's something like three to four to five minutes. The client also takes longer. See here, I'm spawning in. It is Naviscane because that's what I had. And uh, there might be some weird stuff because Naviscane is not specifically made for this overhaul mod. But you can see from the UI, everything is as it should be. If you have issues, make sure you go into the 7 days data folder and then check the log files because they will generally give you some information of what was wrong. And when you're done with everything, doing a save world is always good. And then shut down to shut everything down. But other than that, go and enjoy. If you want to put in some additional mods in it, let's say you have a small mod like my wireless power mod or something else. Generally, you can just go into the mods folder and just unzip it here. There are cases obviously where whatever mod you're putting in might impact or cause something else to break because there's a lot of mods in, the, in this one at least, depending on the overhaul mod. There might be less, but there could be conflict. So get everything up in the general standard overhaul mod that you have, and then try to put in a custom mod if you want to expand it. But otherwise, enjoy it with your friends. As always, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and of course subscribe. If you want to have your friends connect, how do you do it? Just like any dedicated server, make sure you do the port forwarding. Don't know how to do that? Well, search your manual because that will tell you. And that's the most common issue that people run into. If you check my dedicated server setup video, it will have a few tips of how to do that. But generally, you just need to know how your own router handles port forwarding and your manual is your best bet. See you next time.